let's go ahead to your um, CMD and then you're going to change directory to desktop and then um, you're going to um, create directory like open weather map you are going to create a folder open weather map so as you can see we now have a folder and then you're going to create um, files called um, index.html as we're going to have a html file to be displayed in the browser and then we have our server okay so Sorry, we did not change directory, so it was written in the desktop. So we have to change directory to um, open weather map. Okay, and then using touch command, we can be able to create um, files. So you can create two files just um, doing like this just a space okay so just delete this one okay so if you're going to open your um, weather map so uh, the two files is created so the next thing that you're going to do is um, you're going to initialize your npm okay Alright, so it will create a JSON file. So I will just enter, enter this. Yes. Okay, so if you will check, um, we now have a package. Right, and then the next thing is we are going to use our Express. Okay, so I hope it will download all the necessary package of node. Okay, so once successfully done, you will notice that we have here um, node modules. Okay. All right, so let us now go to our app.js and our open weather map. So, um, actually, this can be a template no? So, uh, on how we are going to start our server. Okay, so as mentioned, we are going to use Express as our server, and then we are going to have an app, say, for example, as an instantiation of the Express. So, we are then going to use the get method. And um, this one is our root, okay? So it means that if um, if you're going to go to your local host, it means um, it means this one. This is the root, okay? And then um, we're going to use callback function. Then we're going to have request and response, okay? And then we are going to have um, okay. We are going to have rest that send server is running. Okay, and then we can also um, listen up. That listen, we are going to use 3000 port, callback function, and then we are going to print in our CMD. Okay, server is running on port 3000. Okay. Let's try to go to our local host. Okay, we haven't. I think we haven't started yet. So let's type in our um, in our CMD node app that 
Node.js. Okay, as you can see, you have your server is running. So our server now is running. All right, now, now we are going to use our um, API and our Postman. Um, I have here the GET request. It's in the Philippines. So how are we going to use this one in our app.js? So um, we are going to use the um, HTTPS module. Um, this is actually a native module in Node.js, so we are going to use this one. This is how we are going to utilize the API link. Okay. We are going to require the HTTPS. All right. And then um, inside our um, get function, we are going to use HTTPS.get. Okay, and then we are going to copy paste um, this one. Okay, so just remember that we are going to use, we are going to add HTTPS like that. Okay, in our um, API link. And then um, we are going to have callback function and then we're going to name our response as response and then um, if we are going to try to um, print the response at this code in our browser let us check okay if you are going to check um, our CMD. Okay. Okay. Start. All right. So we were not able to print the status code of. It should be displaying two hundred. Okay. What is the problem? I don't know what's the problem. Mm -hmm. It should be displaying 200. All right, there we go. So it now displays 200. All right. So, and then um, if you're going to check in there, um, documentation of HTTPS um, get request HTTPS Node.js we have here um, there you go we have here HTTP get so define the HTTPS initialize and then HTTPS that get the link of API the rest function the uh, callback function rest and then we are going to use the on function data with data okay so let's go back here and then we are going now to uh, use the response what we have here okay we had here response that on Okay, as mentioned a while ago, and then we have data, and then we have callback function, data. Okay, and then we have, we are then going to use the JSON um, that parse, and we are going to um, get our data. Okay, and then we are going to store it in, um, variable called weather data. 
Okay. All right, and then let us try to console.log. Okay, so um, going back here, if you are going to um, print or console log the weather data. Okay, if you're going to go back to your um, browser. Okay, and then you're going to check on your in your CMD mm -hmm. okay so I use nodemon so that um, all my files all the the files that I or the changes that I have saved will be um, will be saved so yeah as mentioned in here we have um, printed the status uh, status code of the response and then we have here the weather data so as you can check here okay um this is now the the, J, the json file that we got in our api so there are just the same okay mm -hmm. All right, so how are we going to, the next question would be, how are we going to get individual data? Because as you can see here, how are we going to get like, for example, the temperature or the feels like or the visibility? So how are we going to do that? All right, so um, I would suggest that you would you would install this one this um, J JSON viewer as a Chrome extension because if you are going to copy paste this one your link your API link um, you will be you will have this um, format here it's a beautiful format so how can we use that one is that um, we can be able to create um, a temp variable and then we are going to use the object our json object this is called json object and then we are then can use this one like for example if you want to get the temperature of in the philippines so you, you are just going to click that one and then copy path so you're just going to paste that one and then you try to um, print the temp. Okay. Mm, if you're going to go back, um, your browser. Okay. Okay, you would be able to see this one this is the current temperature okay so let's go back here it's correct 301.76 so in your um, app you can actually add a string like for example the temperature is and then the con string concatenation so that's the good thing with no daemon because um it automatically displays the save date okay so now we have the temperature is 301.76 okay so we were able to get the data from the open weather map now the the next question would be how are we going to display it in our browser answer the question how are we going to display 
it in our browser since it's just this thing here in our CMD. So what we can do is that we have here, um, always remember that we only have one send, okay? So what we can do is that we can have response, at right? Because you can have um, um, unlimited write, but you can only have one send, okay? So you can have write, and then inside this, you can have each one. Okay, and then you can concatenate this one with each one. Okay. All right, and then you can also, if you want, you can also try to get the humidity. Okay. Use the um, JSON object. And then, of course, you go back to your JSON viewer. And then let's find humidity. Okay. So simply copy path and tag one. And then you can have rest that right. Um, you can have it as a paragraph. The humidity is concatenate humidity variable. And then you will have the closing tag. Okay. And then you can have that one. Okay, let's try to check in our browser. Oh, it's not working. Let me check. I think we have not saved it. Mm -hmm. All right, it's crashing. We have an error. As it, we have an error. So where is our error? Okay. Resume. And then we are going to transfer this rest here after right okay and then let's go back to our browser all right oh, we have not yet started our browser <laughs> you can have node no daemon up the js or you can have node up the js all right so here we have it the temperature and the humidity in our browser I'm just wondering why it has all each one. Okay. We don't have a proper closing tag. All right. So that's the answer. Thank you.